going on to the next question here a really lengthy question look at the options this is the first thing actually that you should be doing in your grand test in your final exams koi bhi question aap dekho sabse pehle dekho ki options kya hai usse aapko idea aayega ki ye kaun se topic se related question hai so shedia kigashi chronic granulomatous all of this so this is something related to immuno deficiency disorders again please watch it from the main videos i have covered the immuno deficiency disorders in the easiest way you will get it in pathology and microbiology main videos okay so yeah is it shedia kigashi is it chronic granulomatous or the other let's try to have a look at this one now the last line which of the following is most likely diagnosis axillary mass the culture shows staph aureus jab mera immuno deficiency disorder ka question hai and the staph aureus is mentioned that basically means remember the mnemonic from microbiology staphy cat we have a cat named staphy so cat is catalase positive is staphy staph aureus so this tells me that this is catalase positive infection and i start thinking in term of chronic granulomatous disease let us try to look at the other clues here uh what do you have here a nitro blue tetrazoleum test shows deficient reduction again the major clue that the respiratory burst is affected here the nadph oxidase is affected and that is why the answer is the chronic granulomatous disease two things which are given here the nitro blue tetrazoleum there is no reduction that means there is no color change from yellow to blue okay it is not changing to blue because there is no nadph which is required here and the second which is staph aureus infection which is catalase positive is chronic granulomatous disease yes very good anke that is dihydrorhodamine uh, flow cytometry test nbt test uh, is what is done for the chronic granulomatous disease so let us quickly have a look at this uh, uh, snippet from the first aid book here chronic granulomatous disease and shediac higashi we tend to get confused here the rest of the disorders have discussed in the main videos in the app remember that shediac higashi h i g is basically high number of granules that you would see in shediac higashi and this is a very very important image here where you see the high number of granules in a cell it is shediac higashi why are they granules here because the trafficking is affected the lysosomal trafficking lyst gene is affected here remember this is autosomal recessive there is microtubule dysfunction because the granules are affected it affects the multiple cells like it affects the nerve cells right the melanocytes Uh, there is neuropathy there are multiple things that we see here in shediac higashi albinism is a important finding here giant granules high granules is what we see there is pancytopenia and mild coagulation defects is what we see here okay chronic granulomatous disease on the other hand remember chronic granulomas yani chronic wale infection ho raha hai jo acute response hai in bacterial infection that is affected that means the respiratory burst in the neutrophils is affected and that is your respiration is oxidation so remember the nadph oxidase is defective here so these have increased susceptibility to catalase positive organisms which are staph aureus which is nocardia which is generally given in the question staph aureus nocardia burkholderia these are commonly given in the question even candida or aspergillus theek hai here the dihydrorhodamin test is uh, abnormal and the nitro blue tetrazoleum dye test is also abnormal it turn uh, it fails to turn blue because for this nadph is required which is absent here okay so remember it does not turn blue it remains yellow the nitro blue does not become blue basically okay so this is your chronic granulomatous disease remember you don't have the granules here you have high granules in shediac kigashi the granuloma tells you this chronic chronic infection jaisa acute infection response is affected respiratory burst is affected here catalase positive organisms and you have nbt the color wale test which is affected here theek okay? hai is this uh, clear with everyone right is this clear with everyone so remember for chronic granulomatous disease the c and the c is this is catalase positive infections and you have the color test 
like dihydrorhodamine and nitro blue tetrazoleum test okay this is the major clue here all right clear with everyone immunodeficiency disorders is important okay it is important very very important so this is uh, about your uh, question here okay 